just praise ye the Lord. Let all the people praise ye the Lord. Can you praise him right now? You say, well, you know, I've got, I got this, I got this load going on right now. I got this trouble. I got this things are happening in my life right now. And I just can't hardly wait a minute. Can you just praise him in the storm? Can you just praise him right now in the in the house of God? Can you praise him wherever, whatever situation you're in? The Bible says this is where God lives. It says that he inhabits. He in habits. You want to know why sometimes it seems like God is far off? We haven't given him a we haven't given him a home. What? Isn't it, I think it would be just fitting, Brother Mike, that we would give him a home. You know, Jesus, watch this. God created the heavens and the earth. He created a habitation, a place for man to live. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Jesus says, I'm going to prepare a place for you. Oh. This must be a tradition in the, in the house of God for the people of God. To prepare a place. The Bible says, in another place it says, you know, make, make straight the way for the Lord. Wait a minute. I'm going to make a way for him to come. I'm going to make a place for him. And we all like to we all like to declare, well, you know, uh, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Well, let me tell you where he's going to be. He's going to be in a temple that praises him. He's going to be in a temple that prays and communicates with him. We're going to worship him. The Bible talks about those who worship him must save us. Worship him how? In spirit and in what? Truth. Truth. Being honest about it. It's tough. And there's going to be things in our life that makes it hard for us. But I'm going to tell you today, along with prayer, how many of you know you've heard push? Pray until something happens. What if I told you, what if you could praise? What if you could praise into prayer? Come on, let's think about that for a moment. If you could just learn how to sing praises, if you could learn how to recognize God for who he is, then you can enter into a conversation with him. Why? Because you know he's near, he's present, because the Bible says he inhabits the praises. He inhabits the praises. He inhabits the praises of those people who sing on TV. He, wait a minute. No. He inhabits the praises of the people. Are you getting this? Yes. And this is why we praise him. He is the Lord. He is the King. It's Jesus. He is the Lord. He is the King. So, some of you need to rise up this morning and say, you know, I think it's time for me to wake up. Amen.
Sometimes it's better to start out this way than the way most people do. I mean, did you know what comes after, t uh, what, what's after Sunday? Monday. Oh. Go back to work day. Back, oh, it's Monday. Another Monday. Wait a minute. How about you make every day like Sunday? Well, that's right. Let's just have a day of rest. No, wait a second. Did you know God has a place? There's a time and place for everything. Amen. God shows. Listen, hey, how many days did he work? Six. There's six six days. days on the seventh day. Rest, rest, rest. Rest. Unless you're the Beatles and there's eight days a week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, can I tell you, there's only seven <laughs> days. We all need to get this. Jesus went to a solitary place from time to time to rest. Mm -hmm. he, had, he had to, listen, he had to take a break from time to time and he rests. Did you know that also Jesus observed the Sabbath? Jesus observed the holy days. Jesus went to church. Now, I understand in the Old Testament it wasn't called the church because didn't, they didn't call it the church until the New Testament. Somebody say amen. amen. But I've come by to tell you this morning that, listen, every place you go, I, I, I know the Bible, Jesus says, you know, that, that every day should be made holy. Somebody say amen. amen. But there's always this one day when we gather. It's one day that we say, this is a time I've set aside for you, Lord, and for the people of God where we can come together and worship you. It's not just about catching up over the week, although we'll get an opportunity to do that. That's what we do here at Lighthouse Village. You get ample opportunity, if you'll take advantage of it, to catch up, to learn more about each other, to, to be able to love on each other, to help bear one another's burdens. So oh, I can preach on that for a while. Don't worry, God. We, we've got time. Just not all today. <laughs> But I get up in the morning and sometimes I have to say this. But maybe maybe I have to say it like this. Oh, Lord, let my soul rise up. Wait. Please. Yeah, please. How about this? How about we sing it like a praise? Oh, Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you. And everybody says. As the day rises to see the sun. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Everybody. As it was in the beginning. Is now and will be forever and everybody. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen like you mean it. Amen. Give the Lord a clap of praise in this place. Hallelujah. You, O oh Lord, are my lamp. My God, you make my darkness bright. The Lord rewarded me because of my righteous dealing. Because, because my hands were clean, he rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. And, and have not offended against my God. For all his judgments are before my eyes. 
and in his trees I have not put away from me. For I have been blameless with him, and have kept myself from iniquity. Therefore the Lord rewardeth me according to my righteous dealing. Because of the cleanness of my hands in his sight. You, O Lord, are my lamp, my, my God, to me make my darkness bright. Father, we come to you today, Lord, and we just praise your name. We thank you, Lord, that we have a God who is with us. We thank you, Lord, who, who makes darkness turn to light. We thank you, God, that you make those things that were meant for evil. You make them turn the situation around for our God. And, Lord, when we come to you, Lord, with our, our hands and our hearts open, Lord, to the poor, then, Lord, your kingdom is at hand. Remind us. That there's always enough to give to those who are in need. Lord, help us today, God, to realize that because we have you, Lord, that we that Lord, that we can be generous today with our goods, the things that you have entrusted us with, God, that we can offer our lives even, Lord, ourselves as living sacrifices. Lord, let us no longer be those who hoard even our lives. But Lord, let us share the goodness of God with one another. In the name of Jesus and the church all said, Amen. 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 Let's worship the Lord of the house.
future agent. I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. And I have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows. Therefore I will send thee, Moses, unto Pharaoh. That thou mayst bring my people out of Egypt. For what am I, Lord, that you should send me? How can I lead this people out of bondage? What words can I speak that they will heed? I will teach thee what thou wilt say. When thou hast brought forth the people, they shall serve me. 